So let's start making our Prezi document from scratch and then uh, set a custom background. So for that, I'm going to go over here and click on new Prezi. And once I do that, I'll get the template option right here. So for my Prezi, I want to start blank everything from scratch. So I'm going to go into the general section right here and I'm going to choose blank template. Once I do that, you can see that you see that there's the uh, now there's the uh, preview button right here. I'm just going to use this template just like that. All right, so use this template over here. So once you do that, the template will load up. And there you go. So it has been loaded up right here. So right now, I want to rename this. So I'm going to say that this is Tutor Tube Scratch because I made this from scratch. And I want to do everything from scratch right here. So you can see that there's blank template and subtitles over here. I can simply delete all of it and everything is from scratch itself. So for the background, you can simply go to the background and theme, theme option right here. So you can see that if you were to click this, it'll actually appear over here. So you can go over here, choose from its free images. So you can search from its images right here and choose one from here. Or you can upload your custom image right here. So I'm going to do just that and upload a custom image. I'm just also going to show how to use this. So over here, let me just click open. And over here, let me go to my tutor tube folder right here. And I'm going to open up my tutor tube. So let's say I want this uh, uh, file right here. I'm just going to press open and it is going to load it out just like that. And you can see that the background has been set now and tutor tube is there. So it's loading the full resolution right here. So it loads up everything and now you can see it, it loads up. So if I have to zoom in, you can see that this actually fits over here. Uh, if you have uh, other images, for example, which does not fit in the background, you can actually do that as well. Let me just revert back to original and so that it actually moves out the picture right here. Let me just go over here and then choose a full size image. And let's see like if the image is not in 16 by 9, let's see what happens. So I'm going to the tutor tube folder right here. And let me uh, go over here into my files, my images, my pictures right here. And let me see like if I uh, can choose this. So let me just click out this one right here. And let's see what, let me just close down the presenter view right here. All right. So you can see that it actually loads up. But what happens is that you can see that everything actually goes out of up. So you can see that if I were to zoom out, it is in the 16 by 9 area, but the background image, it is actually covering up more area right here. Sometimes it is a good thing because when you zoom in, you want those area to be seen and you do not just want them uh, plain old just like that. So if you have 16 by 9, it'll only cover up this area. But if you have a picture with size like more than that, then it'll actually adjust it like this. So that is how you can simply set the backgrounds. You can also remove it and set custom background colors over here according to what you want. So you can also set your color palette and everything else over here. So you can see that these are the five colors being used for the theme right here. You can revert back to original. And if you want to use the ones that are free, uh, if you pay for premium, then you can access these uh, premium images right here. In my case, I'm going to choose this one right here. So let me just click and it'll load up the picture right there out in the canvas right there. So it's loading out the picture as you can see and loads up and there you go. So the picture is there and it uh, got the canvas from over here itself. And you can see that some of the edges are actually there which is actually quite normal and you want it to be cropped because when you zoom in you do not want to see the edges. All right. So that is how you can set a background image inside of Prezi. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.